This is a controversial one, but hear me out. We all know Warzone is supposedly getting a sequel. According to leakers, Warzone 2 will be a ground up, entirely new experience. There's no doubt the Battle Royale could do with a stim to the arm. Every day brings a new fresh hell of hacks and glitches to Caldera right now, and don't even get us started on how toothless Ricochet has been recently. So if we want a Warzone that's free of bugs and glitches, and makes it next to impossible, or at least difficult for cheaters to prosper, should Warzone 2 be a full price game? Moving away from the free to play model would be a massive risk. Warzone is a huge cash cow for Activision and you might lose some of that free to play goodness by charging players $60 ahead of them dropping into Warzone 2. But there's little doubt that it would remove issues with cheaters pretty much overnight. It would rid the world of hackers who only cheat to ruin the fun for the rest of us. And anyone sad enough to buy a full price game to then cheat would slowly be booted out of the game after being reported to devs. Surely no one would be foolish or angry enough to pay for a $60 game again. And let's face it, after paying that much for a game, you'd expect decent anti-cheat anyway. It'd also go some way to making sure Activision are forced to produce a quality game. Not all $60 games are great, obviously, but it removes the free-to-play excuse. It turns out it's a pretty popular idea among COD fans sick of cheats and glitches. Although some argued that a $20 to $40 price tag would be more than enough to add a level of quality and keep the more annoying hackers away from Warzone. That said, charging for the game would definitely reduce the number of players in lobbies. Not everyone can afford it, and Warzone's accessibility is one of its biggest strengths. So would Activision risk losing players in favour of kicking hackers from the game for good? Warzone 2, still weird to say, is reportedly set for launch in 2023, so hopefully we won't have too long to wait until we get more intel. 